Hey guys, how is everyone? I haven't done um, a YouTube video in a while. I haven't done one since before I left from Puerto Rico. I vlogged and I uploaded my trip to Puerto Rico, and it is. You can click up here. It's gonna be. It's gonna be somewhere. It's either gonna be in the description or here somewhere. But it's going to be um there for you guys to watch and I also um vlogged my overall trip i sucked at it because it was my first time vlogging um whatsoever but i'm grateful that i you know tried it and maybe next time i'm going to be better and you know i already wore this jacket in another video so this um video is going to consist of you know me answering some questions what is this me answering some questions and then um Telling you like my overall because a lot of people have been asking me. Oh, tell me, do you do your makeup? 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 All right, here is the answer. Yes, I do. I don't do like you know that eyeshadow stuff. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't like it. Um, well, I mean, I like it. I like how when other people do it, like it, it's amazing. But it's just something that I don't do. But. I do use foundation and all that stuff so that when I do take pictures, my pictures look nice and my face won't look, you know, beat up. So, I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine. Even though a lot of guys don't wear makeup, but you know, I'm one of those guys who wears makeup. And if someone has a problem with that, then... Mijo, mijo, salve. Porque como mi no me importa lo que la gente tiene que decir, la gente habla tanta... I'm not even gonna say the word because my mom is probably gonna watch this video and you know, we don't want that. We don't want, um, give me my name on sopla moco y bueno. That's all I gotta say. Pero bueno, so before I, you know, do makeup, I do not use, and the people might come to me and be like, oh my gosh, I sometimes use primer. And the primer that I use is like oil. I forgot where it's from. I think it's from Colorina. I don't know. But if I don't have that, I just put on some Argan oil or I just put on some lotion and just call it a day because yo no voy a estar perdiendo tiempo y mira, I'm running out. So this is what I do. I put some on and then I make sure I get it everywhere for grip. You know, one thing that's just horrible is that cuando la gente tiene maquillaje and it's just like, you know, like, it's just makeup. Like, they have no, like, stuff. And I don't know what that means, but. We're just gonna skip that I said that. All right, so after I put on the Argan oil or freaking primer, I go on to. So what I do is that I grab some concealer and I put it on the places that I want to have concealed concealed the places I want to conceal which is where is it where is this right here okay and please 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 um don't mind when I'm looking over there it's just I'm looking how my face looks you know so all right you guys this is it no I'm just kidding I got a smaller mirror so I won't have to be looking over there so that was disgusting. All right, perfect. All right, so after after I apply this concealer, which is the creaseless concealer from Tarte. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would be doing this. Okay, right there, right there. Um, and I got this from Chicago because Chicago had like a like it wasn't in Chicago, was it in Chicago? Yeah, it was in Addison, I think. It was it was somewhere in that state, in that region. Um, and their mall is freaking huge and it's beautiful. All right, so then I just blend that in. I'm going to do it up here for you guys. Who aren't educated over this whole makeup thing? First of all, if somebody wants to wear makeup, let them wear makeup. You know, it's not your job to tell people, especially people that you are not related to or people that you have no business telling nothing to. 
you know, if somebody wants to wear makeup, let them wear makeup. You know what I mean? Um, my modeling school that I went to, they taught us makeup. And they said, you know, if you're a guy, you also got to learn how to do your makeup. Because if there's a show or a fashion show or, you know, and the makeup artist somehow isn't there and you don't know how to do your makeup and you go on that runway looking busted, that's on you. So, and, you know, everybody wears makeup these days. So, then I use this... contoured my cheekbones oh my gosh i said jawline this whole time uh, i need a whole lesson on on like the human anatomy porque yo no sé nada yo no sé nada I, I said that this was my freaking wrist and now this is my cheekbone i mean this is my jawline i suck guys i really do all right so i like to contour my jawline to make it look look at that Long. Tell me this won't pull your girl. Tell me this won't pull woman. Tell me this won't pull woman. Tell me this won't pull men. Tell me this won't pull men. When I tell you girls are expert when it comes to all of this, they're experts. A round of applause to all the women in the world. <laughs> applaud my grandmother, applaud my mother. They're truly the bomb duck. All right, so once you're jawline and your cheekbones are contoured i like to go and highlight them with a couple a couple with a little bit of highlighter and i like to go on top of here you see that i like to go on top because it like truly will like bring your face and then i like to go above a little but i don't like to go you know exaggerated because you get one side of the bottle and then you know all right so once you blend it out your contour and you blend it out the highlight and you blend it out every freaking thing now we gotta go on to our nose contouring your nose for like for me in my makeup routine and this whole thing my makeup routine needs nose contour so i'm just going to go in with a small angled brush by elf it doesn't matter and then i just go in and and in order to make your nose contour look natural, make sure you bring it up all the way. To where your eyebrows are. Not all the way to where your eyebrows are, just all the way into like this part right here. I don't know what that what that's called. And then I like to go across like this. And then I like to highlight my bridge. And then we have to. Why did I. Oh. Now we have to blend. I like blending with this flush fluffy brush because it like really helps like take out like the excess powder and stuff like that but then I like to go in with this one because it's a little like harder and it's not as fluffier to like actually get in and like as you can see look at the contour But you can see the contour, and yeah. Bellita, bella, linda, la que amo con toda mi alma. She brought me a freaking sandwich, and I'm not even hungry. And I didn't even ask for it, so. That's not a part of my makeup routine. Okay, so after we've. After I've contoured my nose, highlighted the areas I wanted to highlight, I go in with this. And if my grandma sees this video, she's going to know that I took this from her. Because I don't have this, but I took it from her because I needed it. And by the way, my grandma does her freaking makeup. Like, 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put photos, but my grandma does her makeup, and when she does it, she does it. My grandma has like two thousand palettes from like Morphe, from like um, Anastasia, from Urban Decay, from many, 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 many places. My grandma has so much makeup. Like she just recently, like I would say, not that long ago, she became like obsessed with makeup and stuff like that but um oh my gosh did i show it um it's this and this is some baking powder loose face powder and this is what is like the essentiality other than the contour other than the eyebrows this is essential to my basic makeup routine because it truly like it sets in place everything it just sets in place everything and you know it's essential so I just like to get some of that and put it first up here. Then I like to put some on the bottom of here. Then I like to put some on the bottom of here. I, I don't do it right here though. Sometimes I do that, but not all the time. And then, okay. So once that is here, I like to go in and do it on my nose. So, once that is setting, I like to go in with my eyebrows. And a lot of people like to conceal their eyebrows. I'm grateful to God um, for these eyebrows. And my dad, who, you know, does my eyebrows, because he frames them, like, very, very well. And um, I don't need, like, to conceal them. I do conceal them still sometimes. It depends on, like, what I'm trying to, like achieve or like what look i'm trying to give like if i'm going to a party where i know there's gonna be people i'm gonna uh, just you know conceal these eyebrows but for the sake of this video i'm going to conceal them but i usually don't i just usually do not conceal my eyebrows but let's get to it so the first thing i like to do is i like to grab a dark um, I think this is a okay this is by wet and wild and this is I don't know what this is I think this is eyeliner I'm not sure but not all the time do I use this sometimes I like to be daring and use a marker yes a marker I like to use a marker because I feel that a marker gives it more of a faster color instead of like you know but this is for when I'm trying to like, you know, actually like, you know, you get the drill. But I like to sometimes use this. This is actually not a marker. What am I talking about? This is a, I think this is um to do your, you know, eyeliner also. But I like to use it on my eyebrows. Um, I like to like, not too heavy though, because I don't want my eyebrows to look like really, really dark where it just looks like unnormal. And it looks really, really straight. But this is just something that works on me. Um, and then I go in this type of... Okay, so... That's about it. I'm not going to do a lot. Because again, I don't want my eyebrows to look too dark. A norm... A norm... Ni se hablar. No se hablar. So, so then I like to go in with a, um, I don't know what this is, but I'll, you know, you get the drill. And then I like to brush them. I like to brush the product in. And then for the moment of truth, um, not for the moment of truth, truth. <laughs> I learned this tip from my grandmother actually no actually I learned it first and you guys already see it but I learned it first from RuPaul's Drag Race but then my grandma started doing it um she uses glue to put down her eyebrows and I realized that when you put glue it it's like I think it's better than gel like hands down because when you put it on it's like your eyebrows aren't gonna go anywhere this is going to last you a really long time but one you know disappointment might that it just might be tacky but it all depends on how much product you put on so i just put like 
a little bit I don't even like press down I just go like brushing it on my hair like this. Like that. Okay, once once I put it on a little bit of Elmer's glue on my eyebrows, that's when I actually go in and brush them into the way that I want them to be brushed in. And then that's when I go in with the concealer. Um, and then I just like to do this. So, once I've applied concealer on, and again, you can't see the concealer, I haven't even blended it, but it's because the concealer is literally the same color as my skin, so, you just blend that out a little bit, a little bit, I said, I mean, blend it out a lot. Then after I've concealed, I just am going to adjust the eyebrow into the shape that I want it to be in. Um, I still need to blend a little bit. I see where I need to blend that. Okay, so. You know, just blend out the remaining places. Like that. Alright, and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this powder. And then put it under here. I just put a little bit on. It's not so much. And then I just go in and blend it out a little bit. And then, oh my gosh, I have some on my eyebrow. I don't know if you guys can see it. But then I go in with some highlight powder. Put it in this region because I want that region highlighted. This is all like geometry, and I'm horrible at math, but you know, this is all just geometry. Okay, then we're just going to blend this out. Then I like to go in with a little bit of color and just get a little, you know, um, just to add like some, some sort of like color because a lot of people, when they do, um, their makeup, it just looks like if they're just, it looks like they have makeup. And for this look, for my personal, you know, look, I don't do, um, that I do like to have my f I can't talk I like for my face to have some sort of color I like my face to have some sort of you know other than the contour and the highlight I like it to have some sort of color so I go in with a little bit of pigment not a lot though because again if you put a lot it's gonna look this is just a basic you know makeup routine for people who are like going on like a commercial an audition for a theater or just an everyday going out look if you want to go to you know a party if you go into a party if you want to just do your makeup to go to walmart you know this is what i do this is a good you know makeup look because um in my modeling school they didn't make it mandatory for the boys to wear makeup but i'm like my mom is paying that much money i better learn everything and anything that i have to learn so i basically got into everything i did the face um the face skincare stuff and then i did you know the makeup stuff also you know because i want to know how to do my makeup just in case if i have like an acting you know audition or an audition for you know a commercial an audition for anything and everything or just a party or just if i want to just you know do this then 
you know, I already know how to do it. So, you know, this is, yes. All right, so this is the finishing look. As you can see, it doesn't look too much. It doesn't look too less. It just looks normal. And I'm so very happy that I had the opportunity to share this with you guys. If you guys want me to, you know, show you guys the product some other day, just like this video, you know, comment down below. I'm so very happy to be showing you guys this. So give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe i'm so very grateful that i had the opportunity to share this with you guys um i hope that you guys have a blessed day and that it's full of god and that you guys may have you know an amazing week i'll see you guys next week with a new video i'm now uploading every single what's today's date today is tuesday um i think you guys will be seeing this today Day, I might upload this today, but I'm going to be uploading either Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Fridays, and my novelas are Saturdays. Um, so yeah, also my novela. Find out what happens to um Carolina, and you know the new episode is coming soon. So I hope you guys like that. But other than that, have a great day. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Oh, no.